Hello there, fight friends. MMA Andy here at Niagara Top Team in St. Catharines, Ontario with Kevin Popwick Bastion, who's getting set to fight at Samurai MMA 6 this weekend against uh, Faudel Bentieb. Kevin, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing really good. I was watching the practice today. Uh, so it's it's almost fight week. It's it's probably your last hard practice before you fight. So you took it a little bit easy today, but I can still see you're getting a sweat on and getting prepared. Tell us how you're feeling right now on fight week. Feeling good. I can't complain. It's um, I mean, I could complain. Nobody cares, though. Um, yeah, another fight, another fight week, get it over, get another win, yeah. Yeah, okay, so uh, this fight, initially you were supposed to be fighting Isaac Molina, uh, which is kind of weird because then he signed on, after he signed to fight you, he went to sign and fight at FLA and, and he didn't do well in that fight. Uh, so what were your thoughts on that when he kind of did that to you? So um, I, I was talking to the MMA Talk guys yesterday about it. Um, I don't want to like disrespect people like fighters because it takes a lot to get in there and like booking two fights is a scary thing let alone like actually doing two fights but with that being said it's kind of stupid uh, there's like a line that's like bravery and stupidity I think that's crossing that line yeah. um, but you know I can't hate the guy for trying to make some money you know well, that's drama. I don't really delve too much on drama, but I wanted to bring it up because it did happen. So let's move on to this weekend. Tell me what you know about Faudel. Uh, he's pretty good. Um, good striker. He swings pretty hard on the feet. Uh, he has good takedown defense. From what I saw in his like grappling, he's like in mount most of the time, and he's like TKO and guys pretty fast. So uh, good guy. Um, good opponent. Uh, I don't think it's going to be like um, my fight two fights ago where I just touched the guy on the chin one time and then he goes out. He's been hit clean on the chin before, and like as he's getting hit, he's swinging back. So uh, he's down. So you've got a big smile on your face when you're talking about this guy. So it sounds like you're excited to have a, have a game opponent. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like, I'm not in here to beat people up. I'm in here to fight, you know. So... As, as good as you should be at being the hammer, you should be as good at being the nail. Yeah. Well, speaking of the nail, you did mention that he's really good in the mount. So have you been doing any special preparation for mount escapes or anything like that? Or you were good already? Yeah. Um, I've been practicing one special mount escape. Uh, it's If he gets you in mount, you bring both your legs over and you sneak out the back. And then you go, you fall into the Boston Crab or the Walls of Jericho. That's the big one I've been practicing this camp. Not the figure four? No, no, but for real, like I've got it once or twice in uh, in practice, and uh, Jared's actually pretty good at defending it. Um, yeah, I'm, if he gets me in top mount, uh, I'm gonna try the Boston Crab. Nice. So, are you concerned that when he watches this video, as I'm sure he will, that he will now know your game plan? Try and defend it. Okay. So. Uh, I've been following you for quite a while, and you've you've had some really great fights. But you were especially excited about this fight because it's in your backyard, Gatineau, Quebec. Tell us what it's like about fighting in that area, and, and all your. I'm assuming tons of tons of support support will be there for you. Yeah, it's pretty cool that uh, Samurai came to Gatineau. Uh, I haven't fought in my hometown at all in my pro career, so it's pretty cool to actually be able to like. I'm going to be in my hometown, I can chill with my parents afterwards, like, instead of my parents driving up for five hours, it's me that's driving back for five hours, so yeah. it's kind of cool. Are you going to be staying at home when you're there? Um, I have a hotel for, like, fight week and, like, cutting weight and everything, but, uh, yeah, for sure, after the fight, I'll go back to my parents or I'll sleep at a buddy's place or something. Nice. Um, so I'm, I'm having a bit of problems with my truck, so I'm wondering if the day after the fight, if we can come in and maybe do look at the brakes or something like that. For sure. Yeah, I have to. I actually have to fix my car. Uh, I have my mom's car. My clutch broke on my Mazda, so uh, we're gonna, like on not the Saturday after, but uh, on Sunday I'm helping my dad do some deck work, and then on the Monday I have to help my dad fix my car. So nice. yeah, we can fit your truck in. Awesome, I appreciate it. Thank you. So any last words? Anybody you want to thank? Any sponsors? Anyone else? Yeah, sponsors. Um, in St. Catharines, we have uh, Octagon Dawn. It's right attached to the gym. Um, for all your MMA equipment needs, go see the Octagon. And uh, my buddy Kenny, he's a real estate agent in Gatineau. If you need to buy a house, buy it with him.
Well, that's awesome, Kevin. I agree. Don's an awesome guy at the Octagon. Well, uh, it was a good for good good last practice. Congratulations on all your hard work. I know you've been training hard for this one, as you always do. Good luck, and I'll see you in Gatineau this weekend. Thank you very much. There you go, fight friends. Kevin is going to be fighting at Samurai MMA 6 this Friday night in Gatineau, Quebec. Wish him luck.